songs I've ever covered. I guess they kind of just recently came out with that album and I uh, went on iTunes and just went, you know, sampled all of them and that I, that one really caught my ear. Um, I never, never had a problem with Green Day. I'm sure they're, they'll be happy to hear that. Um, they, yeah, they, they, they always sounded cool. And I like that the bass player used to play a uh, Gibson Grabber. That's probably the the one bass I, I would like to get my hands on. I had a three pickup grabber a few years ago, but I I really should have gotten the single pickup grabber. But I refuse. I mean, people are looking for crazy money for them, and I don't, I just don't think they're they're worth it. Um, what else? Um, when I um when I picked up. The new bass Joe built for me, I dropped this one off, which I love this bass. It has one of those guild pickups from the uh, guild basses that I like a lot. But um, um, as much as I liked it, the E string just didn't react the same as the other st strings. And uh, just it didn't have as much crunch. And I was, I was able to play around it. I just had to attack the string differently. So what I asked Joe to do is... The pickup as it was mounted in here was beneath the wood cover. And my thought was that, uh, you know, having a piece of wood over the pickup doesn't really interfere with the, um, you know, the, you know, the string making a sound or, or you know, the, the pull of the magnet. But it's just that extra distance that the magnet is from the string. So, uh... Joe actually put cut, uh, you know, drilled holes in here, so now the pickup poles are exposed, and um, the 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 difference was dramatic. I get um, 
the same amount of crunch out of you. I always whack the E string a little harder. All right, I'm gonna try and play along with a, uh, it's a 130 beat per minute train shuffle beat. I think I lost the arrangement a little bit there, but it wasn't too bad. <laughs> 